All right, we're gonna show another totem technique. This won't have the VT in it. We will still do a rig to lower and then be able to show how to convert that to a rig to raise. Once again, in a contingency, we need to make sure that we have enough friction and that friction can be adjustable. We need to be able to tie that off and have that tie off releasable under a load, which will be your injured repeller. And number three, obviously uh, a safety system within there. So on this one, you would not be wrong if you wanted to rig this in a Vertaco mode. A lot of people use Vertaco, we use Vertaco. Just remember that due to edges and other dynamics in it, a lot of times for taco, maybe too much friction to be able to lower that person effectively without having to feed the rope into. So on this one, we're gonna do a standard mode with the totem. So we're gonna flick that right in. As we said before, the load is gonna be on the right side. Our brake side is gonna be on the left. This will go right into our main anchor point. So once we have the rope measured, so we have just enough rope to hit the ground or wherever you're wanting to place it, the rest of the rope is still into the bag. What we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna bring that over the shoulder. Have that come up right here. This, when we release it, will be our lowering system, which provides a nice amount of friction. If you need it any more, you can even bring that through here and be able to belay that belay line through here. If you need it add friction, doubtful that you will need that. Once we have that there, we're gonna lock that off. We're just gonna kind of bend that to the side. And since this is already in the back side, we're gonna send a bite right through the big hole, crank that up, and that's the way this will be hanging. So if something goes wrong, we can take that loose side pop that right over the edge here. And then we're in a position to lower. Let's go ahead and tie that back off. And on a rig to raise, all of a sudden we realize much shorter distance or more efficient to be able to raise them up versus lower them off to the ground. We'll take our Kenny quick draw, which has two locking carabiners, one on each side. And in this case, we're using the Spock, which will be our rope grab, which will become our progressive capture. In this configuration, since we have a shelf, we will use the shelf because it gives us a nice offset area. We're then gonna come in and, and we got a couple couple kind of options that, that we can hit on here. Um, we're gonna put that rope grab right on the load side. Remember when we're rigging that, the flat side without the cam is the one that faces the load. So sometimes it's just easier to have that already in the position that we know is right. We're gonna come in, put that into our carabiner. We're gonna release that cam. And we're gonna slide that down as far as we can get. Now, this will be taking that load. All we're gonna do is release this. Be able to slowly go and you aren't probably even moving two millimeters to get that loaded. Once that's on, we're ready to go. This has our load over on this system now, so we can open that carabiner without getting jumped into. On a safety hazard, release that over. This falls down, and now we can build our three to one by just grabbing, in this case, we can put our rope man right onto our load side, throw in our roll clip, and then be able to raise them up on a three to one.